Hello, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel fuckers. And uh, today I'm doing a uh, viewer emails, viewer emails. And uh, I got to tell you, I started off with viewer emails. I was supposed to do it weekly, but it's one of these things, you know. I'm going to keep making viewer emails as I get shit to put out there. So, um, I tell you what, viewer emails is a real great program, and I love it. I love it. I love it to death. And I gotta tell you, a lot of you fuckers there have, uh, have, uh, you got some questions. And I basically, hey, if you send me a question, <clears throat> and you haven't sent any money in, well... It may be used in viewer emails, but there's no guarantee because there's no fucking, you haven't sent me payment in. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead indeed. So uh, let's start viewer emails. And this here is from Ryan. Ryan. Ryan's asking me. Okay. Um, Ryan asked me. He, he came to me and said to me that uh, he came to me and said, look, he's got a Hulk. A Rolex Submariner Hulk. And he can get 6.8 US for it. And he can buy the new Daytona with the ceramic bezel for 12.8. He asked me my opinion. What do I think? What do I think? And I said, hey, don't pay more than retail for the Daytona. Don't pay more than retail for the Tona. I said, it's okay. But do you really want to part with the Hulk? I mean, that's a great watch. The Hulk is a wonderful watch. It's really cool. And what are you going to do? You're going to sell it and get a put a lot more money in and get a, um, a Daytona. Now, I said to him, I said, stop. I said, how about you could get a nice pre-owned Explorer 2 Polar four to 5000 Maybe a bit cheaper, depending on whether you go for a holes case or no holes case and the the solid end link version or the the rattlesnake version or um you know just depending on the vintage because the sapphire the sapphire uh explorer 2 see that they they were originally a 1655 16, okay that was the plastic one that came out in the 70s the orange hand explorer 2 the steve mcqueen then they had the 16550, which came out early 80s. That was the transitional sort of one, which they also had the cream, the really rare cream dial. Black dial, white dial, and cream dial. Cream is uh, incredibly collectible now. Then they changed to a 16570. Not to be confused with the GMT 16750. So... The Explorer 2s, they, um, I think they're a great, great bang per buck piece. And then you got the 42mm version, which is the 216570. So, uh, I personally think, you know, I tell you what, you can buy a nice, uh, pre 42mm one, 4 to 5,000, really nice one. So, wouldn't it be cooler to have two watches instead of one? Two for one. And uh, the subs are always in demand. And I, I, I said, look, I said, look, the Daytona. The other thing is, if you don't want to get a sub, don't, 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 sorry, you don't want to get an Explorer 2, instead of getting rid of the Hulk, why don't you add an Amiga Speedmaster man on the fucking moon? Man on the fucking moon. And I said, look, <clears throat> the Daytona, he, he says, oh, is it going to become more collectible? I said, look, hang on a minute, they're churning these fuckers out. It's not going to, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of a bit of a Ponzi scheme that Rolex is playing. So um, I still think two watches, two fuck-off watches is cooler than one. That was my advice to him. I said, hey, Ryan, just um, take it a bit easy there and... Uh, Maybe two is better than one. Because, I mean, if the Hulk is a great watch, you'd always use a Hulk. And, yeah, the Daytona is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do we always have to be so cool? You know, we always have to be so... It's just so fickle. Fickle. Fashion is so fucking fickle. So, um... I said to him, I said, look, if it was me, no. 
No, I wouldn't be selling the Hulk. I'd buy something else with that money, the spare money. I wouldn't just, you know, that's just my opinion. I think, I personally, I think the Ceramic Daytona is overrated. Personally, I prefer the older steel version. Because ceramic is a bitch. You drop ceramic. Okay, it's so everyone wants ceramic now. But the steel one, I think, is... I reckon that's that's the smart money. That's the smart money. Just don't do what every fucking circle jerker does. So, um... Okay, now I want to take a break. I want to show you. This is a great video that I, O, O, I put together. Very hilarious. They got some videos. I want to show you this. It's fucking hilarious. Go and take a look at this now, fuckers. Can you watch the sign here? What the sign says? One, one minute drop off. One minute drop off. That's right. What's that? One minute and the next one. Drop off only means stop because. All right. Okay. So $75 in free minutes to get off here. very tough. Well look, you know, it's been very kind of you to do interview for me. Maybe I give you a little bit money. No. Bitch, I'm not rich man, mm. I call. I give you 500 bucks. No. 500 bucks. No. 500 bucks. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. This is ridiculous, okay? I give you breakfast? I give you breakfast. Yes, what are you for then? I give you shower. Yeah, 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 but, but, I, I give you shower. Yeah, 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 but, but, I, I give you ju juice. This is ridiculous, okay? I give you maximum 700. No. 700. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. This is ridiculous, okay? You're out of your fucking mind. You snaky, snaky, snaky with me. I give you breakfast. I give you ju juice. Okay, thousand baht. Goodbye. Thank you too much. Okay, fantastic vid from I double O I. And uh, another question that has come in is uh, from uh, the Philippines. Graz. Graz says to me, uh, sorry, it's Ryan. Sorry, Ryan. Ryan. Hi, Arts. Ryan from the Philippines. That's not the same Ryan. No, no. Just look at that. Two, two Ryans asking questions. I'm Ryan from the Philippines. First of all, just want you to know I'm a huge fan. I need my glasses. I'm getting blind with old age. I'm a huge fan and I enjoy watching your reviews. Don't mind the shitty fuckers commenting on the vids. No. Archie, can you help me decide? I'm looking at this used 14060 2000, no, sorry, 1996 tritium with box, with no box and no papers but with Rolex Authenticity Mint uh, and he's also looking at a two that was that was four six US and he's also looking at 2014 double one four oh six oh at five two so uh, he's asking me which way do I go which is the better way out of those two watches there I do admit the maxi dial and the the, uh, the Cerachrome looks nice on the 114060 and I can't let go of the vintage appeal of the 14060 what makes me want the so he's, he's humming and hawing and I gotta tell you to be honest with you these are both cool watches they're both cool they are both cool I uh, personally Man, if this is the biggest decision in your life, do you go for the ceramic no date or do you go for the pre-ceramic no date, Submariner? Life ain't too fucking bad. And uh, I I think myself there, you know, the two prices he mentioned, I'd probably I'd probably I've got it I'm looking at them. Look, it's not much more, I'd probably go for the for the ceramic. Okay, I think. That's a little high for the 1996. Uh, so the other one's nine, 18 years younger. You know, I mean, that age doesn't really matter, but it's the condition. Um, the other one is with box and papers. Ooh, I'd probably go ceramic. Go ceramic. 
I don't think, you know, he's asking question, is there a big difference with the upgraded movement, yada? Look, they're both excellent. I mean, we're not, we're looking at two very, very solid watches. A no-date sub, ceramic or, or, or um, pre-ceramic. Man, these are both killer pieces. Hugely popular, huge. I think you're going to love either one. No matter which one you go for, you're going to love it. And uh, I'd probably swing it to ceramic, I reckon, because it's got papers in a box. Okay, it's, it, it's, the price isn't that great. You know, the prices, the Submariners are very exy, but I, I reckon go for it. Go for it, get it. You can't make a bad decision. I mean, seriously, a no-date sub, even a 5513, they're, well, they're expensive. They're expensive now, but... There is no bad, no date sub. They're all super, super cool. So um, I think there is no bad decision there. That's for sure. That's for Ryan in the Philippines. Okay, let's take a break. Let's take another look at another video from IOOI. Another great video. Take a look, fuckers. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, 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 you okay? Yeah. I was gonna show you, we're gonna give you a drink of scotch. You don't drink scotch. What's wrong? Lizard tongue! Lizard tongue. Remember! To like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And remember, I don't do fucking shit for free. Thank you too much. Hey, fuckers! I also want to introduce my good friend Jack. Jack's one of the band members of the um, Unclaimed Freight Band. The album is Dumpster Babies, and uh, I've played a few tracks. Unfortunately, I was gonna put some tracks in this viewer emails, but the fucking copyright thing, man. I, I need to get royalties for me, not for you, Jack. So, uh, otherwise I would have... But Jack's a great guy. I love his stuff. Bung ho! I love his stuff. I, I woke up dreaming about his music the other day. Really great stuff. If you're after a bit of garage music sort of band, it's uh, they're really cool. They're giving it a shot, and thanks to YouTube and Archie Luxury, they're getting an audience. So, uh, Jack, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support you've thrown me. I do appreciate it, and uh, we love you on the Archie Luxury channel. We do love you. So, uh, thank you, Jack. That's the uh, Unclaimed Freight Band, Dumpster Babies. Go and look out for it. And uh, it's available from CD Baby. Go and take a look. Go and take a look. Great stuff they've got there. Uh, I'm Archie Luxury. Let's take a small break, and we'll be right back, fuckers. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. Hey, fuckers, Archie Luxury, and uh, today I'm going nude! 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 No, no, what do I mean by nude? Well, what I'm doing is, fuckers, I really do love my luxury watches. I've had them at home, I've had, I've had three at the moment. It's a little bit risky, you know? So what I've done is, fuckers, I have actually put them away in the safe. <clears throat> I call it going nude, where I put everything away <laughs> except one piece. 
One watch, I call it going nude, because I've got nothing else to fall back on. And <clears throat> I've decided, I decided to go nude with <clears throat> the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Fucking Moon. Man on the Fucking Moon. So, uh, fuckers, that's, uh, that's exactly what I've done. I've gone and, um, I've gone and done it. I've gone and done it, fuckers. I have gone and done it. So, uh, fuckers, if you, um, if you haven't gone nude lately, go and put your watches away. I mean, I got a bank safe. I put them into the safety, safety, a safety deposit box at the, the bank. Uh, big fuck off door. Uh, but uh, it's just good to keep them, you know, just to, to crave for them, you know. Fondness of the heart grows with absence of time, you know. So uh, we'll see how I feel. I, and I, I've, I've also, I wanted to put the world time away. I couldn't, everywhere I fucking went, I had to take it or leave. I didn't want to leave it at home because of burglars. I didn't want to, then I got to take the fucking thing around with me. I can also get stolen. It's just, I like to have it out of my, it's just safe and secure. I don't need to fuck around with it. So uh, I'm going nude, fuckers. I'm going nude. So uh, please. Please, fuckers, tell me what you fuckers think. Going nude! We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money. Okay, I'm Archie Luxury, and uh, I gotta tell you fuckers, I gotta tell you, I hope you've enjoyed this segment of viewer emails. Viewer emails, and uh, please, I'm gonna be trying to be doing more viewer emails with the punters. I want to try and keep it out. I want to keep it fresh, happening, and jivey. So, uh, fuckers. This has been Viewer Emails of Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that.